man. Hey, if it's Tuesday, it's gotta be Tasty Tuesday. And I gotta get this wood into the smoker because we're gonna have some barbecue today. We are in Canaan Valley at Canaan Valley Barbecue. Paul, thank you again for letting us come yeah, today. Uh, yeah. What a nice day outside. For, but first of all, what a beautiful place you thank have you. here. Thank you. Uh, Canadian Valley Barbecue since 2019. Yes. Um, and let me say, I mean, it is just a gorgeous establishment. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You have a long history. Tell us a little bit about that. So I, I came to the Valley to ski originally. Yeah. You know, I was working in D.C., yeah. working a lot, and I used it as a way to get outside and ride bikes and ski and do all the things I love, and um, barbecue followed me. I mean, you said anything really cooking with fire is barbecue. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, when you were talking about that explanation, it really made me go back and think about, you know, you buy a barbecue grill, it's barbecue. It's not just the sauce, it's just, it's really the way of cooking it. Sure, yeah. We have um, just a classic barbecue restaurant here. We're focusing on smoked meats mm -hmm. and homemade sauce. When yeah. people come in, what are they gonna experience? So they're gonna approach a counter mm -hmm. or the bar. Um, we do a lot of carry out business. Um, it travels really well. Taste-wise, what is the difference if somebody were to take beef ribs, pork ribs, baby back ribs? Or what is that different selection? So we typically work with baby back ribs. Ah. Just and because they're smaller? They're smaller. They just are a little softer. Okay. They still have some texture to them, but um, a St. Louis cut is a little heartier. It's more to the tooth. Okay. More al dente, you know? Yeah. Um, but we tend to lean more towards the baby backs just because when people think ribs, they usually think fall off the bone. And that's what sure. you get from a baby back rib. We have our house rub here. Okay. Can't tell you what's Can't in it. Can't tell us what it's no, in there, no. no. But if somebody were to make their own rub, okay. So I, I can only tell you that um, sugar and salt are probably the most important thing. Right. So what we're going to do is start on, on the back. Okay. And we're going to dust it across okay and then go ahead and work it down into the meat I'll do this one with you okay yeah yeah just rub it in it does Give get it. a little you can it mixes with the moisture right okay and they're they've been patted dry okay that's that's important right oh yeah, yeah. okay you get better adhesion this way yeah and then we're just gonna flip them over okay. This is our Southern Pride smoker. Okay. I'll yeah. go ahead and open this guy up. And you can go ahead and lay the slab okay. on here. This way? Yeah, that'll okay. work. And then put another one back behind it. Yeah. Now, once it's in here um, and it's cooking, approximately how long it's going to take? So we're going to let these go for about two and a half to three okay. hours. Not yeah. too bad. I don't know how. But look at this, this is going to be amazing. How am I gonna eat all this? But we'll bring some back. The um, pulled pork with coleslaw, chopped beef with pickles, house smoked chicken wings, as well as baby back ribs, beans, coleslaw, potato salad, and also a brownie. This is going to be amazing. Mm. Very good. Mm. Really good. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you.